Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested, and I have a really cool show and tell product, but also a project to share with you today. Our friends over at The One Company, who uh, we met at Comic-Con this year, they're makers of really awesome prop replicas, including a really awesome Star Trek, the original series, Communicator, and also Phaser. They have the license this year with Bethesda, yes, the game studio, Bethesda, for Fallout 76. And I went gaga over that tiny uh, miniature car that they made, and that's the Fusion Fleet, and now, coming out later this year, they got us access to their Pip-Boy kit. Yes! This is the in-universe uh, Pip-Boy 2000 Mark VI kit as seen in Fallout 76. And it's a kit because not only do you have an amazing display, and we'll take it open and take a look, but you also put it together so you can actually wear it on your arm. So let's take a look. I really love that they designed something to be in universe. This was the same with their Fusion Flea. When that came in the box, it was like one of those car collectibles that the dealer, dealership would give to you uh, for, for buying a car there. And in this case, this is a kit um, that would be for uh, the, the uh, vault tech customers to, to use as their display model. Popping this open. So you can just display it like this and this lifts out, and you have all these parts here laid out, which are pretty nice, um, but to put this together, there are instructions, construction manual, and there are 125 steps to put this together. Everything's pre-painted, these Cast parts look really nice. Of course, there's opportunity for weathering in the future. Uh, there's no glue required. It actually comes with two tiny Voltec screwdrivers. We're gonna use our iFixit screwdrivers in this case. Uh, and let's see how long it takes to assemble this Pip-Boy. So here we have it, uh, the Fallout Pip-Boy prop replica. Uh, it took me about two and a half hours to build and it was a lot more intricate than I originally thought. Um, you're actually installing springs inside the buttons, for example. There's mechanical action 
for the radio here. You're actually like putting in the rubber band, twisting it, and it actually works because you installed it. It's really cool to see how it all goes together. Uh, structurally, it's basically two halves. There's the main compartment here, and then three smaller pieces that then get attached together and then put in here, and there are two rods that go all the way through the top that hold everything together, and then the sleeve, which is nice and plush and soft, also gets affixed through a couple of Chicago screws and also just some plastic stoppers that plug in to the back and through them. Uh, there's so much room here for customization, I think, as well. While this is already perfectly painted and it looks like something that's fresh out of the box, you're gonna wanna throw some paint on there. Throw some oil, throw some of that Malto paint that Adam really likes on there, and that's gonna be a future project where we completely paint it up. Now, you'll also notice that I don't have any of the decals. They include one of these water slide decals, so you can put the, uh, the uh, interface on here, vats on here, but I neglected to do that because I do think there's an opportunity to upgrade this and put potentially a screen in there. Inside behind this, it's like several layers of plastic. The top layer is just clear plastic, and then you have uh, the bezel behind it, and if you, I think we can just dremel out that bezel, and then there's enough of a cavity in here to put maybe some type of LCD, and then wire it through so you can use it and activate it maybe with a top button. That's what I speculate and possibly doing in the future. Really fun build. Uh, even though it does include two small screwdrivers, I would recommend using a power tool to get all these tiny you know, M2 screws in here. Uh, the instructions are good in the box, but I recommend also going online to the Wand Company's website and following along with their instructions online because those are way more in depth and updated uh, for the shipping product. I want to thank the Wand Company for sending over this sample for me to put together, and I'm a huge fan of this guy. I love the Fusion Flea. Highly recommended if you want to put anything together and just have a beautiful display from the Fallout universe. Well, that does it for today's show and tell. Uh, we'll be back another time with more cool stuff to show off. Thanks for watching. I'm Norm, and I'll see you next time.